business majors are tenacious. You guys are like Kobe Bryant going after a loose ball trying to get me to do this business tier list. Now, I really do appreciate you guys hounding me about this. I feel your passion, but I just wanted to take my time and do a ton of research to give you guys the best possible information. Seriously, this is probably one of the most requested videos I've ever had. Is a man of focus, commitment, the sheer now, I just want to say really quickly, if you disagree with me on any of these, don't get mad. Go down into the comments and just tell me why. The main purpose of my videos, besides helping you guys out, is to start a conversation. That way, if I'm wrong about something, we can all learn from this and everybody wins. Interesting. And this is just my opinion based off of my own experience and research, so always make sure that you do your own research. But anyways, if you appreciate me listening to the fans and making videos like this, make sure to tap the like button to smash the evil YouTube algorithm. All right, so let's get started. Number one on the list, the first one up is going to be accounting. Now, accounting is a really solid choice because not only do you learn business skills, but you also learn a lot of math as well. This is something that bosses and hiring managers love, and there's a ton of demand for this one. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining why I put them in different tiers. If you want to know that, you can check out my other videos. If I spent too much time explaining this, the tier list videos would be way too long and nobody would want to watch them. But accounting has some of the best stats out of all the business degrees and you're almost guaranteed to get a decent job. Now, one of the downsides of accounting is there's a very good chance that some of the lower level jobs are going to be automated. In fact, it's estimated that there's a 98% chance that some of the accounting jobs will be automated. But the good thing, in my opinion, is that this is such a flexible degree that as long as you get past some of the lower level easy jobs, you should be safe. So for these reasons, accounting is gonna go into A tier. Next on the list is going to be business administration. Now I'm just gonna say right now, this is a very popular degree and it's not gonna rank very well, but that's just compared to other business degrees. Compared to all degrees, this is still a pretty solid choice. Now when polled, business degrees came in second as having the least regret about the major that they chose. However, the ones that did regret the business degree regretted it because it was too general. Nice. And the business administration degree, in my opinion, does fall under this category of being too general. Think about it. When you get a business degree, you can already work for pretty much any company in the world and in any industry, and you can also work in pretty much any country. So business degrees are already extremely flexible in general. Now, usually being flexible is a good thing, but with business degrees, it's easy to fall into the trap of being too general. In case you haven't noticed, you've fallen right into my trap. And for that reason, business administration goes in F tier. Next on the list is going to be economics and I can already see the comments now. Yes, I realize economics is technically not a business degree, but they're generally bunched with business degrees and they end up competing with business majors for the same jobs. So I just decided to include it on the list. Now, economics is one of those degrees where you might have trouble finding a job, but when you do find a job, it pays really, really well. Now, this is a degree where you want to make sure to take extra math classes and maybe even some programming or statistics or finance classes as well, because let's just face it, having these skills is going to make you a lot more marketable to a business owner or a hiring manager. And modern problems require modern solutions. Overall, the stats for this major are pretty good. I'm gonna put this one in A tier. Next on the list is gonna be entrepreneurship. And this is one of those degrees that's really interesting because you have to ask yourself, what kind of job are you gonna get studying entrepreneurship? I think that entrepreneurship is one of those skills where the only way you're gonna learn about it is by just doing it. It's kind of like riding a bike. You can read all the books in the world on riding a bike. You can consult with the world's top experts on riding a bike, but until you actually do it, you're not gonna know how to. So in my opinion, the best education you can get when it comes to learning entrepreneurship is to just start a business. And I remember taking a class on entrepreneurship in college and it was a cool class when it comes to theory and stuff. But I remember I asked the professor if he'd ever started a successful business and he told me no. In fact, he'd never even started a business at all. And it was hard for me to take a lot of his advice seriously because he's never done it himself. But with that being said, the stats for this one are actually pretty good. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and put it in D tier. All right, so next on the list is gonna be finance. And this is another one where you can learn a lot about business, but you also get a good dose of the math side of things as well. Now finance is similar to accounting and a lot of them actually end up going for the same jobs. But in my opinion, finance is a little more flexible than accounting and it also pays really well. I can see this one being really useful for learning personal finance, like investing, managing your money as well. So for all those reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in A tier. Next on the list is going to be a general business degree. Now you might be able to guess where this one is going. It's another one that's extremely common, but it also has the problem of being too 
general. And like I said before, when it comes to business degrees, they're already so flexible and so general that it's best to try to be a specialist. But on the other hand, this is a very good one if you're majoring in something else and you wanna tack this one on as a minor or even a double major. But overall, just by itself, it's not that great. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in D tier. Next on the list is going to be a human resources degree. Now, you might think that an HR degree specializes you in something, but actually it really doesn't. And the reason for this is because you can get into HR with a bunch of different degrees. You don't necessarily have to get an HR degree to become a human resource manager. There are a lot of people with humanities and social science degrees that can't get a job in those fields, and so they end up becoming HR managers. So this is one of those majors where you're gonna have a ton of competition from other degrees. Now, the stats are still okay for this one, but overall, when it comes to business degrees, it's one of the worst on the list. And I hate to do this because it's still a great option compared to a lot of non-business degrees, but this one is gonna have to go into F tier. Sorry, Toby. All right, next on the list is going to be international business. And I was actually pleasantly surprised with this one when I was researching it. The stats on this one are actually pretty good. It's got good pay, flexibility, and there's a lot of job openings. This is also a great one if you plan on double majoring in something or minoring. You see some really great combinations out there like international business and finance that'll open up a lot of opportunities. And nobody can predict the future, but business is becoming more and more international. So this could be a huge opportunity for you. Now, obviously, if you're a homebody that hates traveling, you probably don't wanna do an international business degree, but overall, this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in B tier. Next on the list is going to be management information systems. So in layman's terms, this one is all about integrating business with technology. Now, if you've been watching my videos on this channel, you know that something in the future that you really wanna look out for and keep in mind is automation. And maybe the two most important skills that you can learn in the age of automation is going to be business and technology. Companies love hiring people that graduate with this degree because it checks both of those boxes. And overall, this one has excellent stats as well. It ranks as one of the top ones on the list. And on top of all that, it's extremely flexible. This is a really good one if you think you might want to become an entrepreneur in the future, for instance. And the reason for that is because you're gonna have an insider's understanding on a company's business and technology needs. To me, this one is clearly S tier. All right, so next on the list is going to be management. And this is another one that has that problem of being a little bit too general. But the thing that makes this one a little bit better is the fact that people generally go into management because they want to become leaders. And I think companies really covet this leadership skill set. They want to hire as many good managers as possible. And I think it's pretty simple here. Management and leadership positions pay better than non-management positions. And because of that, when you look at the stats for this one, they are pretty good. It's also really flexible and it's a good one that you could double major in or minor in. So for that reason, this one is going to go into B tier. Next on the list is going to be marketing. And this one might surprise a few people. So this is a really popular one. A lot of people want to go into marketing. But when I was doing research on this, the stats on it were honestly not the best, but they also weren't that bad. Now, I think as a skill, marketing might be one of the most important things that you can learn. But as a degree, there are better options out there. And I've been told by people who graduated with a marketing degree that what they teach you in school is not really applicable to the real world. And a lot of marketing graduates actually end up working in sales because there's a lot more sales jobs available. Overall, this is still a really solid option if you compare it to all degrees, but when you compare it to other business degrees, this one goes in C tier. Okay, so the next one on the list is going to be sales and business marketing. And this is very similar to just marketing. To me, sales is another one of those skills where it's kind of like riding a bike where you just have to do it in order to learn. So the best sales education is just going out and getting a job in sales. But if you do get good at sales, it might be the single most important skill that you could ever learn. And one of my favorite quotes is, learn sales so well that you can sell a bat soup to a vegan and you'll never be poor. Actually, I just made that quote up on the spot, but I think you get the point. But marketing and sales are considered to be fun and the job satisfaction does seem to be a little bit higher. And it's a really good one for you to, you know, double major in or minor in, but overall, I think these are gonna go in C tier as well. Next on the list is going to be supply chain management. Now this one is not too general. It's actually pretty specific and specialized, which is not that common when it comes to the business majors. And it has some really good stats. In fact, this one has some of the best stats on the entire list. 
list. And it makes sense because the skill sets that you learn with supply chain management are becoming more and more important. Businesses are moving towards, you know, optimizing processes and automation. And you've seen businesses like Amazon that have basically taken over entire markets just by mastering supply chain management. And this is a very highly coveted skill right now. So I think if you're interested in it, this is one that I highly recommend. Supply chain management goes in A tier. All right, guys, that's the list. Uh, go ahead, check my videos out right here. I made them just for you. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas, thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have about the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.